Hey guys, so once again, we are getting a live action Disney movie that no one asked for. They're doing Hercules. Disney's live action Hercules will pay homage to the original with more modern spin. So, <clears throat> so people can say, oh, well, People are complaining, but in the original the original story of Hercules, Hercules was bi. Okay, let him be bi. But that means, you know, Meg's going to be, like, fucking non-binary. Uh, Hades is going to be portrayed by a fucking trans black male or black female. Even though this was Greece. Um, and the rest of the Pantheon is just going to check all the other fucking boxes. So we're going to have, like, every member of the LGBTQ community, we're going to have, you know, we're going to have, like, a black uh, a god. We're going to have, uh, you know, maybe, like, Ares, instead of being a god of war, it's going to be the goddess of war. Um, who knows? You know, it's Disney, and they're just trying to make them as fucking uh, inclusive as possible. Now, people can say, well... Who cares? It's just a cartoon movie. Or it's a Disney movie. Again, I've said before with Snow White, um, I've said before with Lord of the Rings, the, the, the Rings of Power, the upcoming thing, it does matter. It does. I don't think in Greece, back when the, the Legend of Hercules was around, I don't think there were many black people in that area. Just like uh, J.R.R. Tolkien when he was writing Lord of the Rings. You want to know why there's not many uh, black hobbits or black elves or just black people in general? Because the area he was living wasn't very black. There wasn't a lot of diversity. If they're going to remake it, they probably need to just stick to what they, they did with like Aladdin. Or just stick to like what they did with Lion King. Just remake it word for word. Just live action. Or rather, technically it wasn't live action, really, was it? Like Lion King, it was all pretty much CGI. Or Aladdin. Or, you know, something like that. Because quite frankly, people are tired of them taking these movies. Like, uh, we watched uh, the Pinocchio uh, trailer. And the blue fairy was black. These are stories that come out of Germany and a lot of European areas that when they were written, they weren't diverse. So let's, let's not add that modern spin. Let's keep it as it is. But, you know, hopefully they can get James Woods to be Hades because I would love to see a live action Hercules with James Woods because he is Hades. Ever since Hercules came out, he's played Hades and everything. Um, so, uh, we don't need no fucking uh, black trans Hades. We don't need, uh, you know, gender non-conforming Hades. We need James Woods. Oh my god, James Woods. Um, that's what we need. I mean, really, don't, we don't need any of this because no one said, oh, hey, I... I really wish to see a live-action Hercules movie. Disney is putting a modern spin. Yeah. Whenever they say modern spin, that means as diverse as possible. Both of us and our kids are Hercules fanatics, he explained. And we had, a, we had heard that Disney was interested in revisiting it. And we're in love with the original. Yeah, you know who said that same thing? The people who are making Rings of Power. But instead, they kicked off the lore guy, the one, you know, the, the Tolkien lore guy, because he was criticizing them because he's like, okay, what you guys are doing isn't sticking to the lore. They fired him. Because it's like, um, there weren't any black hobbits. There weren't any black elves. And they're like, oh, nope, you've got to go. You're judging us. 
Who cares about sticking to source material? Get out. Um, so when they say modern twist or, you know, they're in love with it, no. No. I'm sure the people who made Pinocchio, the upcoming one, were in love with the movie, and look what they did. So. Um. Once again, it's it's just I'm just so tired of seeing live action remakes. No one asked for it. No one wanted it. I never thought to myself, "Hey, I want to see a live action Hercules." You know, I never said, "Oh, hey, I want to see a live action Snow White or a live action Aladdin." I never thought about it because I don't. And a lot of people feel the same way. Oh, sorry. I had to cut there for a second cuz I had a fucking sneezing fit. Um but yeah, nowadays, it, it, it's like a forced diversity thing. Um, if you think back to the original, you had the Muses, who were black. And despite the fact that they're, you know, they were, it was Greece, and there were no, you know, blacks living in the area at the time, you know, no one really had a problem, for the most part, with the, the Muses, because they were entertaining, they were fun. But it, it, it just also wasn't a forced thing. When you, you think of you know, gospel, that's kind of what you think of. So, it was fine. But nowadays, um, it's just, it feels forced. So if, if they do make, you know, Meg or someone like a transgender or a bi or this or that, it, it's, it's... Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but with the current streak, like I said, Pinocchio was written in Italy. Um, so, back in the day, there weren't any black people there, and yet somehow they made the Blue Fairy black. So, I think respecting where the story came from is a big deal. People can say it's racism. It's not. It's just respecting the source material. Now, I know the cartoon was far off from what the Greek myth was actually about. I mean, Zeus... <laughs> Zeus was not a good father. Zeus was a slut. He was a terrible person. I mean, this guy would disguise himself as other people and um, pretty much fuck any woman he came across. He would disguise himself uh, as other men. He would, turn, like I believe, turn himself into gold or something and you know, come through doors and stuff. He was a terrible person. He was a terrible person. Um, Hera, I believe, same thing. Um, if I remember, she was a terrible mother. I think she tried to kill Hercules at some point. Um, so, of course, the Disney movie is like, oh, well, they're so happy. Um, Hades being dark and depressing. I mean, I mean, that's... You know, he did kind of get sentenced down there by Zeus, which kind of shows Zeus is a terrible person. Um, but he was voiced by Rip Torn, so uh, that just made it better. Um, so when it came to the lore and story of, you know, Hercules, especially with him and Meg. So I think the story of Hercules, he ends up killing Meg, um, killing her and his child. And then he ends up killing himself. Yeah, not so great for a story. And also, sorry if some of the facts aren't like... I'm trying to remember all this um, Greek myth stuff from, from memory. I remember reading it ages ago. So, you know, being 150 years old, your mind starts to forget things. So I'm trying to remember um, certain facts. But I'm pretty sure Hera tried to kill Hercules... Uh, Hercules was tricked to kill Meg and his son, or his child, and then he killed himself. Uh, her, uh, Zeus was a complete fucking man whore, and a terrible father. Um, but, so you can understand why some things were changed. Some things like, uh, same thing with Cinderella, certain things were changed. Um, Little Mermaid, certain things were changed to more gruesome stuff were, you know, were kind of removed. Um, 
But when they say a modern twist, that just kind of concerns me. We don't need a modern twist. Because nowadays, modern twist means diversity. And for a story that takes place in ancient Greece, there really wasn't much diversity. And again, it's not about racism. It's respecting the place where the story originated. Simple as that. It'd be like, um, like what if people were taking African stories and then making them all white or adding diversity when those stories originated in areas where there were no white people? You know damn fucking well the same people would be pissed off. The same people who are trying to diversify everything, they'd be like, no, because, you know, black people, that, that's the stories where they came from. It's like, well, that's what we're saying. <laughs> if you don't want to fuck with stories from Africa where there was no white people, you know, you wouldn't want an African story to be made into a movie and have a, ca a diverse cast because that's not how it was at the time. So don't do that to these stories that take place in, in Scotland or, or Germany you know that there was there really was no diversity at the time so don't make it diverse there's some times for diversity and there's others there's not stories that are based you know like hercules ancient greece wasn't diverse the, the you know the area where tolkien lived wasn't diverse so if you're not going to make a, a, a an african a, a movie based on African myths and legends, if you're not going to make that and have a diverse cast because that would be disrespectful, then don't do it to these. Simple as that. But, um, what do you think? Give me, you know, just for the main cast, Hercules, Meg, Phil, uh, Zeus, Hera, um, Hades, who would you like to see play these roles? And uh, how do you think they're going to mess these characters up? Let me know. Anyways, you guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.